What's up, Salesforce community? So have you ever thought about starting your own business? Perhaps you've daydreamed about traveling the world and working remotely, or allowing yourself to work flexible hours and spending more time with your family, or just simply selling your business for millions of dollars. Well, in the Salesforce ecosystem, this is all possible. When you mix together the huge growth of the ecosystem as a whole, alongside the huge demand for Salesforce skills, this creates a massive vacuum of opportunity for budding entrepreneurs. Hi, I'm Ben McCarthy, founder of SalesforceBen.com, and our mission is to help you advance your Salesforce career. Subscribe to our YouTube channel below and check out extensive resources on salesforceben.com. In this video, I'm going to talk through the different kinds of businesses you can start in the Salesforce ecosystem, the characteristics of these businesses, the opportunities, as well as the required skills. Let's jump right in. Freelancing. First up, one of the most common types of businesses you can start is simply working for yourself as a Salesforce freelancer. For Salesforce professionals such as admins, consultants, developers, and architects, this is a fairly low risk way to start your own business. Experienced professionals will have the skills and the network required to succeed in freelancing. So what does it involve? You'll be working with clients in a similar fashion to how a Salesforce admin or a Salesforce consultancy might work with a business. You'll be there to support them with their Salesforce implementation, implementing new features, providing solutions to complex problems, training users and any other tasks an admin, consultant or developer might do. Freelancers are becoming a popular choice for companies looking to onboard Salesforce talent. They are more flexible than hiring a Salesforce admin, a full-time one, and much less expensive than using a Salesforce consultancy. Freelancers can earn anywhere from $50 to $180 an hour in the US, depending on your skill set. Admins will typically earn less than consultants or developers, for example. Of course, starting your own business comes with its risks. And before you go quitting your job to pursue your dreams as an entrepreneur, it's best to evaluate the market and ensure that you have a rich network that can provide project opportunities. Now, to move on to another common business in the ecosystem, let's take a look at Salesforce consultancies. Now, let's say you're a freelancer who is killing it in the market and you need an extra pair of hands to support you on your projects. So you hire a junior developer to help you out. Suddenly, you've gone from a solo freelance business to a Salesforce consultancy. So let's check out the opportunities here. The Salesforce consultancies are big business. These are the organizations working on the most complex Salesforce projects in the world. And whenever Salesforce sells a new product to a new customer, the vast majority of the time, a Salesforce consultancy will be involved to implement this new product or feature. So there are thousands of Salesforce consultancies across the globe, ranging from huge companies such as Accenture, Deloitte, and IBM, with thousands of Salesforce professionals between them, all the way to bespoke agencies with 10 or less employees and everything in between. A Salesforce consultancy will typically provide end-to-end -end solutions for their customers across multiple Salesforce products such as sales, service, and marketing cloud, as well as specialist tools such as Tableau, MuleSloft, and Slack. Starting a Salesforce consultancy is very different from freelancing, as you'll be working on bigger projects with a team of employees and you're taking on a lot more responsibility. But of course, the rewards and earning potential is a lot higher. You will have the opportunity to sell this business in the future, which could net you a tidy sum that can easily go into the millions. Now talking about millions, we're gonna go talk about ISVs, where the real money is. Salesforce ISVs stand for Independent Software Vendors, and are companies that create applications to sell on the Salesforce App Exchange. If you haven't heard of the Salesforce App Exchange, you could compare it to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. It acts as a directory of helpful apps that you can plug and play into your Salesforce org. Apps such as eSignature, document generation, survey tools, among many others. When you're talking about entrepreneurship in the Salesforce ecosystem, you will find some of the most successful companies on the App Exchange. I'm talking companies that have sold for hundreds of millions of dollars, all starting from a single or a couple of Salesforce professionals that had a cool idea for an app. The companies on the App Exchange are SaaS businesses, so they are mostly selling their product on a user basis or on a monthly or annual subscription. This creates a sturdy business where you build the product once and can sell it again and again, meaning companies can grow extremely quickly and sell for a lot of money. A lot of companies have started just from one Salesforce professional noticing a gap in the market, 
They go away, do a bit of research, build an app, and before they know it, they've got hundreds or thousands of users and they need to hire a team to support the app. This is certainly not unheard of. There is a huge opportunity in the Salesforce ISV space for you as a Salesforce professional to build an app, start selling it, and then live the rest of your days on a boat. As after all, that's why you're on this video, right? To give a few examples of Salesforce ISVs that have sold for millions of dollars, we have Steelbrick that was purchased by Salesforce for $360 million. Web Merge was acquired by Formstack for 100 million and Velocity was acquired by Salesforce for 1.3 billion. If you're a Salesforce professional, all you need to do is find that gap in the market. So now, let's talk about random businesses. There are so many types of businesses you can create in the Salesforce ecosystem, but by no means are you limited to the businesses that we've already talked about. As company ecosystems such as Salesforce grow, it presents a huge amount of opportunities for other unique types of businesses to thrive. In this section, I'm gonna highlight just a few unique businesses that are on the rise. So first up, personal brands. So a personal brand by itself isn't a business, but if you build a big enough following on LinkedIn, Twitter, or other types of social media or online communities, you can start earning money through it. You might get paid to appear at an event, to write an article, to produce a video, to appear on a webinar, the list is endless. Secondly, course production. Producing courses in Salesforce or any other tech ecosystem is big business. Just go on Udemy right now and check out the hundreds of courses and the thousands of people that have already bought these courses. Good Salesforce training doesn't come cheap, but if you can produce a course that shows someone how to become a better admin or start developing in Apex, you can charge a decent sum for this. Next up, advisory businesses. Let's say you've got five plus years under your belt in the ecosystem and you're seen as an expert in your field. You can quite easily start charging for advising different types of companies. If you're in sales, marketing, or the alliances field, you may start advising Salesforce businesses on how to improve their internal operations and ultimately increase their revenue. If you're an architect or CTA, you may be able to advise consultancies on best practices when it comes to architecture. And if you're an expert freelancer, maybe advising other freelancers on best practices and how to land more clients. The list here is literally endless. Another way to start a business is by creating a platform or a community that serves a specific type of audience. To pick out a great example, check out Ohana Lead. These guys have created the platform for Salesforce freelancers to better manage their projects using their platform. They also have a community alongside this to support the niche audience. And last but not least, blogging. This is where Salesforce Ben started back in 2014, and now I get to produce content about the Salesforce ecosystem as my job. I hope this video has given you an idea about the possibilities and the opportunities that exist in the Salesforce ecosystem. And as I said before, the possibilities are literally endless, and I'm sure there are many unique business ideas out there that haven't even been thought of yet. So just remember, that starting a business is a risk, but you can reduce the risk by dipping one toe in the entrepreneurship water before quitting your job. Evaluate the market, put the feelers out, and possibly land some clients before going all in. As the Salesforce ecosystem continues to have a strong demand for professionals, if everything doesn't work out, then you can simply get another job. Of course, the markets change all the time, so do your own research and evaluate the risk. Have a great day and subscribe to the Salesforce Ben YouTube channel for more great content.